go. Nobody. Hello, my name is Grant, and I'm trying to live forever. I lost over 300 pounds using the gastric bypass, and I've kept it off over the last 16 years, and I'm hoping you can do the same thing too. Today we're going to talk about the excess skin. Now, no matter what you do, no matter what cream you do, no matter what you put in your shake, you are going to have, if you have a rapid weight loss, you are going to have excess skin, especially on your torso. No way around it. It's going to happen. Now, if you're that one in a million person that doesn't have a lot of weight to lose, it has it done and you shrink up and you're normal looking. Hey, more power to you. I'm very happy for you. Glad for you. But the ma vast majority of us that's had this done because of the, r the rapid weight loss, you're going to have excess skin. It's just 99.9% .9 of the time it's going to happen. Okay. But there are some things that have effects on how bad it's going to be. The first thing is smoking. Now I had quit about five years before I had my bypass. And I did that for health reasons on top of being a large guy. It was a double whammy on me. Now, if you can quit smoking before you have the bypass, I'm really happy for you. I really am. I hope you can. It's the best thing you could do for your health is just quit anyways. It, it's just smoking is one of those devils out there that get you and he won't let go. But if you can cut the ties with him and, and cast him off, it's the best thing for you. But smoking does affect the elasticity of your skin. Medically proven. So get rid of the smoking. Um, the other thing is age. Now, I was 34 when I had mine done, and I was 36. I think it was 18, 20 months after I had leveled off a little bit. So I was 36 when I had the, the skin removal. And that's not a bad age, but it's not as good as in your 20s. But it... It's going to happen no matter what age you are, but it can be a little worse or a little better the younger or the older you are. Uh, so um, if you're thinking about it now, don't wait five years. Don't wait 10 years. Uh, quit smoking. And if you're going to have it done, get it done as soon as possible. Now, insurance. Insurance, once you have leveled off and the doctor... The doctor has to deem it medically necessary. If you have skin on skin contact, it causes issues, you know, rashes, funguses. It causes all kinds. It's, it just, it's not good. If your body is not designed to have skin on skin. So if the doctor deems it medically necessary and the insurance agrees to pay for it, guys, it's not a bad procedure because it's not going to be like you see on television, like a plastic surgeon liposuction in and, and uh, you know, trying to make it look good. You're just having a simple, plain skin removal just for medical purposes. But for us, that's fine because you'll have an incision from your hips around your, your underwear line and it doesn't even show when you're out swimming or, you know, it, but it's for us, all our weight carries on our torso. Women carry the majority of their weight on their arms and their thighs and their hips. The insurance 
will pay for the skin removal for your torso. The results for you ladies are probably not going to be as good as it is for men because it's the same procedure. And you guys are built differently. So my advice is if you can afford it, have it done by a board certified plastic surgeon, have them do a little bit of lipo, have them do a little bit of sculpting, have them make it look as good as possible because it's worth it to have it done by someone that knows what it's going to look like after it gets finished by a plastic surgeon. Because Miss Christina's uh, skin removal surgery, she had one too. It turned out okay, but she's not as happy with it as she could be. And if I ever hit the lottery, we're going to get her a little bit more work done and get a little bit more sculpting done and get her torso looking a little bit whatever way she likes it. It's not bad. She's beautiful. But it could have been a better, if we didn't know, if we didn't know to spend the extra bucks to have a better surgery. You know, a more curving, contouring surgery than we would have. I mean, especially for, I was happy with mine, but if we'd have known, I'd have spent the extra dime while we were getting it done to have it done. It, it would, you know, just long term. If you can have a have the plastic surgery done, not just a skin removal, okay? Have an actual tummy tuck done. Uh, the one last thing is, because you are still basically under a calorie restriction, even 18 months, 24 months out, your recovery is gonna be a little bit longer to heal. It's gonna take a little longer. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's been, 15, 14, 15 years. I'm sure that medical technology has gotten better and procedures have gotten better, but it's still, you're still under a restriction. So it still might take a little longer for you to get well and the swelling to go down and everything that is tailed with like a surgery like that. But it's worth it. It makes you feel so much better about yourself. Because you think when you first start, all you think is, well, all I got to do is get this weight off and everything will be fine. No, it's a, it's a whole new basket of troubles when you have all that excess skin. But then once that's gone, once that's gone, then you're, then you look good. Then, then you're happy and then you're strutting and you get your swagger back. All right. And I hope all of you get to experience that. I'm proud of you. If you're at the point where you need skin removal surgery, that means you've lost the weight. And I'm so very proud of you. You're doing so good. All right. Just a little couple more steps to go. And then, then it's maintenance time. But that's what, that's our surgery, our skin removal surgery. That's our experiences. And, um, so you guys have a great day. Having a great day today. Could mean a better day tomorrow. Y'all be good.